Hey, thanks for watching. This is Mrs. J. Today we're going to look at Gmetrics, Autodesk Inventor, training for the practice exam, training number one, question 12, asking you to open up the work feature part, create this bridge, and get the surface area. We're going to use um, a work plane, an offset work plane right there. We're going to add that in. Okay, so let's go to Inventor. This is what your finished project product looks like. Um, let me close this up and not save and I'll walk you through it. Save changes. No. Okay. So from inventor, let's go to open. And if you locate your name in here, you should be able to find the second set of documents, G metrics templates, scroll down to work feature. If you left click, you can see there's a box there. Click open and click yes. Okay. Now in the picture, it tells us to create a bridge from that top plane, but their top is here, right? So let's try that. It's two inches down. It says create the bridge in the part. Use the sketch as shown in the view. That's that. Create the work plane, work plane two inches down and extrude it a quarter inch. So let's come up here on the 3D model tab, the work features panel. Click on planes and choose offset. Click offset. You need to click not this top, but this part. It's really kind of tricky. Don't get the side there, get this. So see that turns green, left click that looks like this. Okay. And it needs to go back in the other direction. So I'm just going to type it in so I don't have to drag it negative 2.0. You could have dragged it negative 2.0 enter. So the work plane is something that you can build on like in midair or in this case, in the middle of the box. Um, so let's start a new sketch. We need to get the sketch on the work plane, but if you notice when you hover in there, you get the bottom, the back, the sides, you get everything but it. So you've got to come outside of it, somewhere outside of it, and it turns green. Let me get mine closer so you can see it. So a new 2D sketch and it turns green when you see the words best way to do it is in a corner. All right. So now we've got it in front of us. We're going to use the rectangle tool. You want to just snap when you come into the inside line, you see it turns green for a second, left click that drag diagonally. I missed it. See how there's space. I have space in between there. I can't have that. So I'm going to hit escape and try it again. So I'm going to go to rectangle tool. Got to get it right on this line. Can't miss it. And you just do it over if you don't come across. It should say 5.5. So I don't know why I'm slacking, but let me try again. <laughs> there we go. 5.5. Make sure you get that. Click that. Then you're good. Let's go to the dimension tool. We're going to click the top line and the bottom line of the part we just made. Left click 0.5. Nice and tiny. We have one more thing to do. Still in the dimension tool. Click the bottom of here. And the inside, the very first line you come across the inside of the box, make it three. Any of this dimension will over choose except I need it to be, oh, it won't let me. Okay. So what did I do wrong here? Done it too many times. Maybe good question. Let me delete this and then do this. If you delete that 0.5, it doesn't make a difference. It won't change. Won't let me, Hmm. let me try it again. I'm going to go try this again. Rectangle, come across. All right, dimension 0.5, and then dimension should not give me that message. Yeah, whatever I did before, I have no idea. I must have missed, I'm guessing I missed the line. Oh, yeah. So I might have been, I know what it was. I might have been up here. And I need it to be in here. So make sure that your sketch is actually inside the box and not up there. That's probably what I did. But you can't really see it when you're straight on. Your sketch is inside that box and you're 0 0.5 and you're 3. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to make that so long. All right, um, let's close this. Extrude. We're going to extrude just this part. You have to select it because it doesn't know. And then we want to go in the other direction. So I'm just going to click flipped in this dialog box. And I need to make that 0 0.25, 0 0.25. There you go. Okay. I think that's it. 
we hit the house button and then go to inspect measure and only hit the the actual work plane that you made there you go 2.75 <laughs> thanks for watching